Here we got bedding, we got water dish, we got another water dish, we got cork, we've got grapevine. This part, exactly the same. Nothing changes. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. It's currently 4.15, 4.30 in the morning for me and I have not gone to sleep yet, but we have work to do specifically with these three enclosures right here. Today in this video, we're gonna take care of two of them. Both of my monitors, Pixel and Apollo, are both getting brand new enclosure upgrades. That's what these two are for. This one in the back, that's gonna be its own separate video. Really, really, really exciting video. Don't miss that one. We have all of these supplies here. We got bedding, we got water dish, we got another water dish, we got cork, we've got grapevine, little basking slates, bricks, whatever, and we're gonna use all that stuff to build the monitor's new enclosures right here. My office is actually starting to come together. We got these three new enclosures here, we got the gecko racks here, some snakes over here, still a pile of mess down here that I have not cleaned because it's I don't know why. All the geckos are doing absolutely fantastic. We got some babies up here. We got this new enclosure that I actually just set up. The lights obviously aren't on because it's 4.15 in the morning, but these are for the new Strophurus tanicata, the new uh, golden spiny tail geckos from Australia. We set this up in another vlog, so go check that out. Well, I've got a lot of work ahead of me and no time to waste, so let's go ahead and get these set up. I'm gonna do Pixels first up on the top. So Pixel is a Bell's Phase lace monitor. They come from Australia, so she's gonna need this small water dish over here. This bigger one is for Apollo, my yellow-headed Asian water monitor, because he likes to swim. So we're gonna go ahead and give Pixel a lot of climbing space because she's semi-arboreal. So I think we're gonna use this piece here and maybe... I don't know, maybe this one. And then let's take these cork flats here. We'll save that for Apollo. Then we'll grab her water dish, put that over here. Obviously we've got all the substrate and then we're gonna use a brick and which, I can't remember which one was hers. I think it's this one. We're gonna use this one. We are most definitely gonna need a lot of this. We need to cut this open and put it in there. Yeah, that's next order of business. Honestly, she'll probably need this whole bag of bedding. I'm just gonna, oh, almost lost it. I'm just gonna put it all in there and see if that's what she'll need. Okay, the bedding's in, looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and place her water bowl. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the cool side. Let's do it over here. Oh, water bowl. I don't know, we'll place it right there. That looks good to me. Then we'll go ahead and grab her little brick and put it here under the basking spot. Then we'll grab her piece of slate. And essentially this is just going to sit right on top of that brick so that she can have a little bit of an elevated basking spot when she needs to get a little closer to the light. I'm really, really excited to give the monitors a bigger enclosure, a little upgrade for them. I got them when they were really little babies, raised them up and they're ready for this. So if you're enjoying the video so far, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe down below if you're not already. Got a lot of really cool stuff coming. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Now as for the fun part, we're gonna go ahead and take these logs and give her some climbing space. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and turn this around and place it on the opposite side for her so that she can climb around a little bit up there. That looks good to me. Let's go ahead and come and grab this one too. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet, but we'll figure something out. Maybe I'll put this one on this side by the light so she can get a little bit closer if she wants to. I don't know, she'll probably knock it down, but we'll see. Then we'll take this one, and I honestly have no idea where I'm gonna put this, but we'll figure it out. Maybe back here. Let her perch a little bit that way. Yeah, that looks cool, I like that. Now for these cork flats, she actually had this one in her enclosure previously. So we're gonna use this and put it 
probably up like that. She'll use that to climb. I made some modifications. So I moved it around just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. I wanted it to come out a little bit more this way as far as the branches go. I'm definitely gonna need more branches for this enclosure to kind of fill in this space here, but this will do for now. She'll absolutely love this. Now we gotta fill her water dish over there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up. This is convenient. Sink right there. There we go. Now we wait. Oh, hold on. Will this not balance? I'm just gonna hold it. Now we wait. All right, I think that's good. We're done. Time to fill it up. Water bowl is filled. The enclosure is looking great. I'll probably elevate that basking spot a little bit more and again, add more branches, but this is perfect for her for now. And I really like how it looks. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the enclosure and if you've got any monitors yourself. Pretty cool stuff. Now for the moment of truth, we're gonna go ahead and put Pixel in her brand new enclosure. All right, so we got Pixel's enclosure all squared away. I really hope she likes it. She seems like she's just kind of exploring and getting familiar with it right now. A lot of monitors will do that. They're super, super intelligent. Anyways, it's time to do Apollo's enclosure on the bottom. This part, exactly the same. Nothing changes. They still need substrate and this is some good stuff. So the next biggest component is gonna be his water dish and it actually is gonna cover up almost an entire half of that side. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in next. It fits nice and snug right there. Then let's grab that brick. Same exact thing that we did with Pixel. We're gonna do with Apollo as well. And that's just gonna go right there. Yep, that looks about right. Then we get his slate. That goes right on top, just like that. Now I wanna get a piece to go over his water. I think this will work. We're gonna try it. I genuinely don't know where to put this thing. I don't know, put it there. Probably more like that. Yeah, we'll put it there for now. Like, like that. And then these pieces, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to make this look half decent. I wish I had more of this stuff to work with, but I don't, so eh, I kind of like that. We'll leave it like that for now. He's more terrestrial, so this is perfectly fine for him. He doesn't really climb a whole lot. I mean, he, he will if you give him the option, but he's gonna really be spending a lot of time in his water and now we have all of this done for him, so I think we're good to go. So I already pre-filled one water jug, because we're gonna need a lot of these. So let's take this, and we'll put that down there for just a second, and then slide open the glass, and dump it in. I honestly don't know how many of these we're gonna need, but I want this filled up at least halfway. He's gonna be swimming quite a bit. All right, so we got the water all filled up. It ended up taking like four of those jugs to fill it up to that line essentially. So that's where we're gonna leave it. And I think our enclosure is ready for Apollo.
right guys, and that's gonna do it for today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching Pixel and Apollo. Both got their enclosure upgrades and are all set to go. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Go hit the subscribe button, ding the little notification bell so you know when I upload. There are some bangers coming. You're not going to want to miss them. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Tell me if you guys keep any cool animals too. I'm curious. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.